the it's the the thing. The Wayne's World. The, the you know. Do you need another time reference? Like, let's do the time warp again. The Back to the Future. You're gonna see some serious watch. shit. Hey, thanks for coming back to us here at Worth a Dream. I'm Grim. And I'm Red. And uh, today we're going to be doing an experiment. Yeah. Starting, starting an experiment. We're starting an experiment. Um, so we mentioned way back when that uh, Big Bad Mama Grim sent us a couple uh, monogram glasses. And that was... Oh, Vanna White the glass again. Nice. I like that. So that was kind of... That was a, a side gift. She actually sent us a project, which is this bad boy right here. We are going to be custom aging a whiskey ourselves here. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Um, so, I mean, let's let's hop right into it. Yeah, yeah, we're not we're really not going to be uh, bouncing around the topics. No, here and this is going to be ongoing. So we're not sure when you're going to be viewing this yet, because uh, we're not sure how long this experiment is going to go. So yeah. it's the beginning of June right now. Beginning of June, and we're playing. This episode should be airing sometime. It could be December. It could be sometime next year. Yeah. We don't know when this is when this airs yet. So I mean, super excited. We're going with uh, Stillhouse. Yep. Uh, which is a 100% um, corn whiskey, not aged. Um, so I'm very. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take this right from the. Yeah, I like it. Hole. So it's not yeah. quite. It's not quite a moonshine, but it doesn't so, have the same kick. But it's close. So what's the what's differentiates moonshine with a, from a whiskey? Man. Uh, so there's actually there's there's very very thin lines between a moonshine and a whiskey. So there are two schools of thought here. Um, you know, there are, some people believe a moonshine is just an unfinished whiskey, um, whereas others believe that moonshine is whiskey in its purest form because it doesn't have any of the extra flavors that you would get from additives or from the barrel. That's tough to pour out of, isn't it? It's very tough to pour. <laughs> I mean, it's all over it's the It's a bar. turpentine can. But... Um... Not gonna lie, uh, Grim sent me a picture of this uh, a little while ago, and uh, I asked him if it was April Fools because he said I thought we were gonna be drinking turpentine. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I hope you're ready aging, to die. <laughs> aging turpentine. <laughs> we're, we're gonna test this out, um, but I don't know. You, I mean, you can't see it. It's a clear. You can't get my. That's water. It's it's as clear as water. Yeah. So I'll tell you this: that hundred percent corn. You ever walked into a subway when they're they haven't baked the bread yet, but they're proofing it? Yeah, it's that's what yeah. it smells like. It smells like yeast and uh, that cornmeal. We need to get a uh, friend of the show, Dave, in here to to be the expert on the pre subway baking smell. You know, I also worked at a subway. I didn't know that actually. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, Dave and I bonded over, over oh, our subway I had, experiences. I had, <laughs> I'm finding out this for the first time. I've known you for that's eleven good. years. I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> But it's even I, before... I worked at a Target once. Okay. So, I got nothing. <laughs> Actually, we have another buddy that used to work at a Target. See? You know what? I'm going to bond with you, buddy. That's Jordan. Oh, what up, Jordan? Yeah. All right. Um, so, we're doing this to ourselves. We are doing this to ourselves. Uh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Beginning of the experiment. It still has a, a pretty nice burn. It definitely has a burn. I. It kind of tastes like the leftover milk after a bowl of corn. <laughs> it's yeah, I mean, it's a lot of corn. Get, you it's, definitely get corn, and it's it's that's a hundred percent corn. <laughs> um, I had to take a second drink because I wasn't hundred percent sure what I was tasting. Um, but yeah, yeah, dregs of the uh, of the cereal bowl. Yep, uh, corn pops uh, hits the nail on the head. Oh, wow! While simultaneously with a nice burn to go with it. Yeah, um, I don't I, 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 I don't know everybody's opinion on alcohol burning, but you know what's funny? I had to go to three stores to find this. Really? Yeah, and who's buying it? It's got. It's not, I'm not saying it's terrible, yeah. but they must be doing the same thing. Because I did age this once before, which is why I have that empty can up on my, yeah. on my uh, cabinet. The turpentine can. Yeah. So uh, somebody gave me like a small, like a 350 milliliter bottle 
um, for home aging. And you just drop in like little charred French oak staves. Yeah. Um, this aged really well by that method. Nice. Um, which is why, that's why I wanted to go with this one. Because I know that we should expect decent um, results. I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be 100% corn now aged in oak. Yeah. Charred oak. Yeah, charred oak. Um, it definitely, it's definitely a blank slate in my mind on flavors that can be added. I can't even remember what it tastes like now that we're, it's now that it's that's gone. why I, I had to take a second drink just because I wasn't one hundred percent sure what I was tasting as I was tasting it. Yep. Um, but I'm ready. You ready to pour this in? Yeah. Let's bring the B roll in. I uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to pour this, so I'm gonna hand it to you. <laughs> All right. That was a really long cut. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, we didn't talk about that, but I was expecting it, and it's still funny. Uh, so, for anyone who is confused as to what they just watched, we filmed, time travel. Time, yeah, this is big, big time travel YouTube nonsense. Yes, uh, we recorded the first half of this episode in June of last year, which we explained what we were doing with this. We, we did. I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble right now. Yeah, remembering that. It's okay. So I did. I reviewed the footage today just to catch yeah. us up. We didn't talk about anything. Like, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I get. We really don't have a whole lot to say about Stillhouse. I, I, you know, we actually we we looked on the website. There's no like about us. Like here's our history. Here's our story. A lot of distilleries have like here's our story. We can trace it back to like the founding of America. Yeah. This one is just. We make. Corn whiskey. <laughs> and we make, we don't care if you like it, we just make it. And we make flavors. Yep. That's, that's pretty much it. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we did find founded by... Brad Breckenridge? Beckerman. Beckerman. Founded by Brad Beckerman, and it is distilled and bottled in... Other side. Other side, Columbia, Tennessee. Yeah. 80 proof. It is 100% corn. I, I do remember that, because I it's... I do remember that. It's just, it's... Corn syrup. There are two things I remember. One is corn pops. Yep. And two is the aftertaste of corn pops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. So, we don't know when this episode is officially airing. This is kind of just filler for us, but we wanted to get to it because my mother provided us, provided us this cask. Thank you, Mama Grim. Yes, thank you very much. Um, we have to get to it because the angels are taking more than their fair share. Yes. Um, we've... It's gone down by more than half yeah half, uh, absolutely more than half i don't know if we've ever talked about the angel's share and the devil's cut so those are actually i'm sure you've seen the devil's cut title for our blooper reels but there's, yes those are actual whiskey industry terms yes um, we have gotten some confusion they're they're now titled blooper reels but originally they were just yeah. titled devil's cuts and people <laughs> thought they were maybe reviews of devil's cut bourbon yeah it was not the case it was just us f***ing up yep <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the angel's share is typically what you lose from a cask or a barrel to evaporation, and the devil's cut is what seeps into the wood, and you lose to that process. Yeah. The angels have taken way more of their fair share here. Like, yes. it's just, I, I, if I had to guess, it's quarter of the weight of what it was when we put it in. Yeah. Maybe a third. It's, it's, it's more than half, for sure. Yeah, yeah, we definitely lost. But or we've, definitely, we've definitely lost a lot of liquid in the cask, yeah. but I'm hoping a lot of that flavor stayed in it's there. It's like concentrated. Yeah. So now it's going to be... Corn pops that have been mashed into some oak, and then it's gonna be woody corn pops. Yep, that's my so. that's my book it. That's my uh, prediction. So I am pre all right. So I'm expecting a lot of like the vanillas and caramels to come out from this cask because it's so like concentrated. Yeah, so small and condensed and concentrated. Yeah. I think that that corn is gonna combine with those natural flavors and be very, very sweet and very, probably very smooth. I'll give you, it's, I think it's going to be sweet. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's going to be sweet, but I think it's going to be like we age cheap whiskey in a barrel. I think so. <laughs> so, hey, no more beating around the bush. Let's get to our second glasses here. Are we beating around bushes? <laughs> we sure are. So I have noticed that it's gone down enough that this no longer really pours very well. Really? Yeah. So you got to hold it up here. Maybe the other way. There we go. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's got some color to That's it. That's got some nice color to it. There we go. <laughs> Bam! Teamwork. 
Teamwork makes the dream work. That was a like little funny gurgle it made. A little bit, yeah. So, <laughs> at one point... Sorry. What do you got? No, at one point... At uh, one point in the first half, you did hold up the glass and show that it was pure, clear. It was as yes. clear as water. Um, it's definitely not clear anymore. It's still... Yeah. It, 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 it would be light for a bourbon, I think. But I also have... This is now unfiltered. Because I have a little flex of char in my Okay, class. yes. I don't know if you do. So, <sighs> I'm getting four freedoms and vinegar. <laughs> so that vanilla frosting type. Yep, yep. Yes. Um, However, we do know that nothing can be worse than the four freedoms at this point. Yes. That was our bottom of the barrel, so to speak. What did I do with the rag? I don't know. Oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, no. Yeah, no. Am I wrong? Are you getting a little bit of a vinegary top note? I I, I don't. I think that's alcohol. Yeah. Okay. I I'll think give it's you that. like an alcohol bite. But no, it's like vanilla frosting, like that level of sweetness. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I'll tell you, I know I know, aesthetics are secondary to yeah. flavor here, but. Aesthetically speaking, like just the look of it, I'm pretty pleased with the oh, results yeah. here. Um, I wasn't expecting such color in so short a period of time. I mean, is that necessary? That's what it looked like have before. You, have you ever looked at water before? That's what it looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I agree with you there. That's that's pretty cool to see that level of um, yeah. So I, I'll say maturation. Yeah, I like that. that's a good word. Yeah. So I I think. You were right that up front on the nose, like that's just that alcohol, that that ethanol bite, because yeah. it's gone now that it's kind of clear from the glass. You gave it the old buddy Holly. Yeah, and it really it's like a frosted cornbread. Yeah, like if that kind of yes. a dessert exists, I'm sure my wife would love it and make me make it for her if it did exist. I'm ready if you are. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. So, if you remember, we talked about Subway a little bit. Like, like when that, you, that bready... That thick, bready, yeasty, yeah. that's gone. Yeah. Like that heavy, heavy, sweet corn syrup flavor. I mean, it's still, it's there, but it's not like, it's not up front anymore. That's got a long finish. Yeah. And a it's little just, bitter. A little bitter and sweet. Sweet, definitely. Yeah. But not as sweet as the nose would have led me to believe. No, and I, I think that's probably the work of the oak. Yeah. When you, you said that bitterness, I think that's tempering down some of that oak. Mm-hmm. Or it's tempering down some of that sweetness. But, um, yeah, I mean, vanilla, corn pops. Just not, not as sweet. That is very, very nice. It's been a couple episodes since we've added water to anything. I'm going to try that. You got a rumbly in your tumbly. I do got a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> I'm wondering if the mic picked that up. But... Oh, it, it absolutely did. Mm. So it can... that, was, that was my tumbly. This microphone can hear me, like, flick my toes because my toes <laughs> itchy. So, that bitter note just rides on the finish. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. Three drops of water. Cut that bitter right out. And then punch up the spiciness a little bit. There's a little bit of... It's like a... Like an old cinnamon spice. You know, kind of like past its shelf yeah. life. Like no, dried I, out. I'll give you that. Yeah. yeah. Like like Altoid cinnamon dust. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yep. All bite, none of the sweetness. That was the first thing... When you said old cinnamon, the first thing that came to my mind was... Like the dust that's left on the... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I like that a lot with a couple drops of water. Yeah, I like it better with water. Yep. So this has, this has seen various environments, because we had it out here for a little bit. Yes. And then when I noticed how much we were losing to evaporation, I brought it inside. <laughs> um, it survived interior temperatures when my AC died. Okay. And then I had the 
humidifier in there. Just or not the humidifier, the swamp cooler. Just yeah, trying to keep us cool. Um, not die. Yeah. So it's been through some changes. Don't I go would say, <laughs> don't go change it. I would say anyone else who brings one of these home and tries a similar experiment, you're going to see different results. It's all going to come down oh, yeah. to how you store it, when you cask it. Yeah. I don't want to say barrel it, but like when you put it together, what you use as a base, you know. I liked it better than the straight still house. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm still not sure that I would reach for it. Well, if you if I was thirsty in the first half of this video, I said I bought this just for the cast. Yes, because I've aged. Actually, you know what? I yeah. brought. I've since brought this out. This is that bottle that I mentioned yeah. in the first half, with a fresh French oak stave, and I kind of wish there was still some more in there because I would age it right now. Well, that can be the next experiment. I already know what's good. Grimm's, I've already done that once. Grimm's experiment lounge. Sounds like an aperture thing. I'm just sitting, like, picturing you on the couch, just like, eh, mixing up some whiskey and some and then we'll make it. But I'm mm. drinking water out of this, and just to look fancy. It tastes better out of the Glencairns. It does. It takes some of the bite out of the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really brings up that, you know, it, it kind of, it, it brings up the hydrogen and really tamps the oxygen down. Yeah. Although the nose is very oxygeny. Yeah? Yeah. I find that it smells a little damp. Yeah. So we have mentioned Wisco Whiskey Review on this channel before. Have we? I think. We've we plugged him a few times on So if you Instagram. follow us on Instagram, we've definitely plugged Whisco Whiskey Review. He is yes. doing a barreled uh, Manhattan. And maybe by the time we release this, he's already released that video. If he has, we'll link it down below. Hopefully, yeah. I think, um, well, we're going to link his channel anyway. We'll link his channel anyway. Yeah. Jeff, he's a very cool dude. He's actually one of the winners of our uh, Infinite Giveaway last year. Yeah. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool dude, very cool. Can I get a B-roll? Yeah. Yeah, very cool dude. Very cool dude. Yeah. Very good channel. Uh, he does, you know, whiskey reviews like we do. And, uh, yeah. I, I find myself watching his stuff all the time just because I want to see, like, especially stuff that we've shared. Yeah. Not shared together, but we've parallel yeah. videos. Because yeah. I, like I like to see everybody's takes on the stuff that we've done. Yeah, everybody's thoughts. Yeah, I mean, we've been saying for six months, seven months now, we're not experts. No. Uh, although we're, we're more experts now than we were seven months ago. We're getting better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you guys can see that from the first half of this video to the second half of this video. Hopefully, <laughs> there has been some improvement. We've, we've made some changes. We have made some changes. <laughs> uh, we just got another comment. <laughs> although, whenever this episode airs, it won't be just. It'll be weird, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't think we're going to do a score here, or we're not going to do... You know what? All right, so let's not let's not do a banner for the still house, but let's do a banner for the cask. Yes. Let's... So, what are our impressions? It was a cool experiment. Yep. I'm not sure that I would... I wouldn't want to read... I would want to... Maybe try it with a different base whiskey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it was definitely a cool experiment, and I'm looking forward to killing that entire barrel with you. Yeah. Tonight. We're getting looks from behind the camera, so maybe not tonight. Maybe not tonight. All right. We got 120 proof to do next. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got cool experiment. Cool experiment. Pick your own base. Pick your own base. I mean, I mean, come back. Let us know what, what. Let us know what you think. Yeah, absolutely. Come back, comment on our stuff. We might have a Discord by then. What do you got? Have you ever bottled your own barrels? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Comment down below. Have you ever barreled, casked, home aged your own whiskey? It doesn't have to be whiskey. Rum. Yeah, I did it with. What did I do it with? Vodka. Rum. Vodka as a base. Yeah. I did it vodka as a base. I remember that. That was years ago. That was. Wow. Yeah. Three houses ago. <laughs> you buy too many houses. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true. Um, but yeah, I did it with vodka once. I don't remember how it turned out, and then I lost the barrel, so. Between moves? Huh? How'd you yeah, lose it? Yeah, well, it probably got broken. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, so. I don't know exactly what happened to it. So, banner for the cast, not for the still house. Man, I'm nailing the Yeah, that was a good one. Lately. That was a good one. 
it's a good way to start 2021. Yes. As of filming. Yes. So whenever this, is this January 2021. I don't know if we said that. We said we filmed we've said seven months ago. June. Yeah. I don't want to make people do math. Yeah, if you guys like what you saw here today, uh, if you've ever home aged anything, whether anything, if you ever hold it home aged Tabasco, if you ever done your own Tabasco, Ooh, aged it in a barrel. I might do that next. Uh, yeah, I just thought of that, and now I kind of want to go buy a barrel. I still have those hatch chilies that we got at Appalachian's. Oh, I can make my own hot yeah, sauce. Yeah, let's do that. How I get it in and out though? <laughs> that would. I mean, this didn't even work very well for whiskey. Then you take the front off. I got nothing. Scoop it out. Scoop it out. <laughs> anyway, get a little tiny spoon. <laughs> No, actually, hold it upside down, put my mouth against the bunghole, and <laughs> Please don't put your mouth against the bunghole. That is a term. This <laughs> hole that the plug goes in is called the bunghole. I know, but all I'm think, all i thinking of at that point is... How much TP you need? I am Cornelio. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what Red said, like and subscribe. Comment down below. All Check us stuff. out on Instagram. Yeah. And remember, no matter how you like your whiskey... That's the right way. That's good.